up, everybody? Danny Dave, Street Outlaws. Hey, what's up, YouTube Nation? Daddy Dave, Street Outlaws. Uh, it's been a while since we uh, gave you all a video to watch, and with good due reason. I've been in South Texas filming America's List, uh, second season, and we've been extremely busy uh, prior to that, trying to get the car ready, uh, making sure everything's in the trailer, because we were actually gone for five weeks. So, when you're gone that long, you want to make sure you have everything because um, you're not just right down the road so if you break something if you tear something up you kind of want the parts to fix it all so but our last video that was out was my test session down in Wichita Falls Texas and uh, out of four passes four or five passes I aborted everyone except for one and we were just fighting the car and fighting the car and broke a wheelie bar and um, it wouldn't go straight wouldn't cooperate with us so I wanted to share with everybody what we found, what we did to correct a problem, and then uh, we have some really good in-car footage and out-car footage of the test session we did before going to America's List. Car did great, hauled ass, and yes, we made it into America's List. Uh, not without problems and not without fighting it. Um, just want to show you what we did to correct a problem and let everybody know that the car actually works and it's fast and it hauls ass. In MPK, we have a rule that limits the size of these spill plates, as we call them. So on these Chevy 2s, unfortunately, the air will go across the roof, it starts down the back window, and then it goes off the quarter panels. The size of these plates um, mean a lot more than the size of the wicker bill on the back of the wing. So this one is an MPK legal. So I'll give you a rundown of what's what. So this is a spill plate. Mine go all the way up to the back window. The No Prep King's legal one is really short, as you can tell. It only goes up to that first screw. So it's kind of effective in what it does, but for these cars, the air comes across the roof, comes down the back glass a little bit, and then actually goes over the quarter panel. It never really makes it to that wicker bill across the back. So the theory is, Air comes over the roof, down the back glass, across the deck lid, and then hits this uh, wicker bill and pushes down on the car, keeping the rear tires planted. Well, the air in this car don't make it back there. So you gotta make it go there. And that's what these are for on the back window. So air don't get a chance to go off the side. It's actually directed to come down the deck lid and hit the wicker bill like it's supposed to. So, and that's what we did. We ended up putting these on the window, put the long spill plates on it, and we put a really tall wicker bill on it. Literally, that is all we changed from not making it down the track to making some killer passes and getting some really good data for it. And on the street, there are no rules. There ain't no rules saying how big the side plates can be, how big the wicker bill can be, or having these diverters on the back window. So if there ain't no rules, I'm going to do it because that's what helps my car. So this was, this little thing was straight when we put it on the car. We've been running it. I made a few passes at the track and then the rest on the street. But as you can see, it has already started bending this bottom part that's not fastened to the car. Just trying to deflect the air back has pushed that, has bent it. And same with this side. So they work. It's very effective. It gives the air a nice path to the back of that wicker bill. Which keeps the tires planted and makes the car go down through there without having to lift or abort a pass. These Chevy 2s are, they are nowhere near aerodynamic. They weren't designed to do what we're doing with it. So you got to do these little tricks to make it work. So there's a short explanation of, of what we did to make the car go down the track to keep from having to abort passes. Um, it's simple things. You just got to sit back and look at what it's doing and what's not doing and figure out a way how to make it do what you want it to do. And that's what we did. We literally put those on, put the side plates on and made a taller wicker bill in the back and this thing went right down the track first pass. Um, for the street, we're going to keep them on there because it just works. 
and when I go back to MPK, we'll have to put these units back on and then have to fight it with shock settings and some other things. And, uh, and it's never really 100% when we do that. That's uh, MPK is coming up. They released the schedule. The first one is April 8th and 9th in Florida. So we will be there. Car's in here now. I'm gonna get the motor back out. Make sure everything's fresh one more time before we go into this brutal schedule as everyone has seen. Hopefully along the way we can do videos like this. Give updates because MPK is a live filming. So we really, uh, we really ain't gotta worry about releasing information that nobody knows because it's a live filming. So we'll do videos along the way. We'll have some fun with it. Meanwhile, here, I got my little single cab uh, short bed truck and we're gonna have some fun with that thing. We'll do a short video explaining that. Pro Charger sent me a, a Pro Charger uh, kit for it. That's gonna be the next thing. We're gonna, we're gonna work on that, get the Pro Charger on it, get the truck lowered, do some other little things to it and just have fun with that little thing. We'll probably get that in the shop next week sometime. But for now, we're gonna get this tranny out, get the motor out, get everything freshened up, and get it ready for NPK.